Imagine that you were surrounded by a bubble of energy that could literally bounce off any incoming force. In this lesson, you're gonna learn about a Taiji Chuan essential known as Peng, which means expansion. Now, Peng is the first of a series of Taiji Chuan essentials that you're gonna be learning in each Duan, along with a movement that's gonna express that essential. But Peng is not so much a movement or a technique as it is a, a kinetic concept. It's an energy that you're gonna learn how to put into any movement that you want. To help make it easy for you to learn each new movement by yourself, I'm gonna break down each movement into three pieces. We're gonna look at the footwork first, and then on the next pass, I'm gonna talk about the hands and the waist, and then the third time through, I'm gonna talk about the energy and the feeling that you should have with each movement. Peng, expanding energy. Peng, expanding energy. So let's take a look at the footwork first. Stand with your feet together, hands relaxed by your sides, the knees are slightly soft, the hips are a little bit soft, and your head is floating up towards the sky. Now shift all the weight over to your right foot, and your left foot floats up a little bit, then steps out to the side about shoulder width, then evenly distribute the weight over both feet. Both hands float up into the air, about shoulder level, and then everything gets heavy and the elbows sink down, the hands sink down, the knees bend and the hips sink down as well. Palms pressing down right about to hip height. One, turn and hold the ball. I shift my weight onto the left foot and pivot on the right heel to the right about 90 degrees. Now my weight right here is about 90% on the left foot and only about 10% in that right heel. Two, holding the ball in an empty stance. I now shift my weight onto the right foot, bringing the left foot into an empty step. So there's no weight on this left foot and it's just tapping the ground right in front of the right. Number three, step out. From here, my left foot steps out just at an angle on the other side of that round brown circle in the front part of your mat. I'm landing heel first. And in fact, whenever you step out like this, you land with your heel first, but very lightly. So there's really not a whole lot of weight on that front foot. I sink down into my stance and my toes, my front toes pivot in about 30 degrees. Still about 60% of my weight is back on the right foot. Number four, sink and gather. So my feet and my weight pretty much stay in the same place. I simply sink down into the step, just kind of getting down into it here. And then number five, expand forward. I now shift my weight into the front foot, turning my waist as I go. And as I finish, I sink down into the stance and my right toes pivot inward slightly. Finally, the last part is called back to neutral. I shift my weight back, step back side by side, and let my hands float down as my knees straighten, my spine straightens, my head floats up, the weight shifts back over to the right foot and I step the feet together. And that's the entire sequence of Peng. This time through, we're gonna take a look at what the hands and arms, basically the upper body is doing. Number one, turn and hold the ball. So I'm rotating the body with my left leg as the axis, turning my toes out, and I'm gonna put my hands into a holding the ball position. My right hand rising up like the top of the ball, about shoulder level. My left hand coming under and cupping the bottom of the ball, hand right in front of the navel. Number two, holding the ball in an empty step. So keeping my hands right where they are, I shift my weight forward and step in while my waist is turning slightly to the right. 
Number three, step out. Again, the hands are staying in the same place. My left foot steps out into its position. Number four, sink and gather. So from this position, my hand still in the same spot, I sit down into that, just kind of getting down a little bit deeper. Rotate from the waist more towards the right, letting my hands trail my body rotation. Number five, expand forward. Here, I shift my weight into that left foot, the hands floating forward, my left arm expanding outward, rounding out, and my right hand coming right behind it, almost but not quite touching the left wrist. My arms form a circle as if embracing a big ball right in front of me. And finally, back to neutral. My hands rise up to about shoulder level. I draw back into that Wuji stance, and then my hands float down as my legs straighten. I shift my weight back to the right foot. I elevate the spine, letting the head float up again and finish the whole sequence. All right, third time through. Now, as I do this last time through with you, what I wanna do is give you some imagery, some, some feelings that you wanna put into every part of the movement. Because in every section, in fact, there's a, what we call a spirit that should be a part of what you're doing. So number one, turn and hold ball. You rotate towards the right and your hands float up into this hold the ball position. And as you move your hands into this position, you wanna feel like there's something inside there. It's not just empty space. Feel the chi, feel that energy building and gathering. Number two, hold the ball in an empty step. So here, let the head and eyes turn and look forward. Let the spirit of the eyes lead the movement as they say. I shift my weight forward. I look in this direction. As I step into my empty step, my head and eyes look back to see the target out in front of me. Number three, step out. So I'm gonna step out with that left foot just slightly to the side of that front ball. And I wanna make sure that as I step out, I still keep my good posture, still keep my good body position. The head suspends up into the sky like a, like a balloon filled with helium. Number four, sink and turn the waist. So let your waist do all the work here for you, but first get down into it, right? Just sink down, let, your, let yourself feel like you're really uh, getting down into the earth, right? getting grounded. Now your waist takes over and turns to the back a little bit, right? And finally, number five, expand forward. I'm gonna shift my weight into that front foot and here comes that Pung energy leading forward, that front left arm rounding out like there's a big ball continuously expanding out in front of you. That right hand coming up behind to press forward. The shoulder blades move backwards and apart from each other as you round the back, settling down into that great feeling of energy out in front. And finally, going back into neutral. I let my hands float out of, apart from each other, the, the energy dissipating, step back side by side, and let the hands just float down, breathe, relax, and that's the whole sequence with feeling. Once you're comfortable on this side, start practicing on the other side. 